Okay, so this is actually the audio that you heard from my video there. Hey everyone, if you can't hear me right now, don't adjust your volume because I'm actually canceling the noise coming out of your speakers right now. Today I'm going to be talking about noise cancellation and you're going to be doing your own experiment where you use this video as your audio. But now watch what happens if I actually invert this audio file. Now listen what it sounds like. Hey everyone, if you can't hear me right now, don't adjust your volume because I'm actually canceling the noise coming out of your speakers right now. So it actually sounds exactly the same. That's because your ears just pick up normal vibrations coming from the speaker. But what it actually did was invert the audio file. So physically what that means is that whenever there was a positive pressure spike hitting your ear, now there's a negative pressure spike. So no matter what, your ear just picks that up as sound either way. But watch what happens when we actually overlay these audio files on top of each other. So this audio file on the top here, this is the normal audio file. The one on the bottom is inverted. So I have the inverted one muted and notice how it sounds normal. Hey everyone, if you can't hear me right now, don't adjust your volume. But now, watch what happens when I unmute it. <laughs> so, both audio files are there, but you don't hear any sound. So the reason you don't hear any sound is because your speaker cones aren't even vibrating at all. So they're not vibrating at all because what the computer has done has just added these two audio files, overlaid them together like it would with any audio files, and the output of them is just zero, no sound. So this is kind of a digital version of showing you how noise cancellation works. Take two files, one that's inverted and one that's normal, and add them together and you get no sound whatsoever because all of these waves here exactly cancel each other out. So you can do the same thing with actually the picture of my video here. So what if I just took my picture and I took all the colors and I inverted the colors? Then the picture looks like this now. But now watch what happens if I overlay this picture with a regular one. Make it about 50% opacity. And you get completely nothing. It's just completely gray. So by making it 50% opacity, it means I, I get half of the inverted layer and half of the below layer and we end up with completely gray. So that means that you get no picture whatsoever. So, so far all we've done is actually digital noise cancellation. We haven't actually taken two sound waves hitting each other in the air that have canceled each other out. So in order to do that, what I need to do is create an audio file that you can actually use to do your own experiment. And here's how I'm going to do that. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this audio file and I'm going to take the normal audio file and in the recording here I'm going to make sure it only comes out of the left hand speaker. So in this in a stereo recording I'm going to make it only come out of the left hand speaker and no sound from this normal audio file will come out of the right hand speaker. But then I'm going to take the inverted audio file and I'm going to make that one come out of the right hand speaker. Now if you're listening to this on a device that doesn't have stereo audio, meaning it doesn't have a left and right speaker, it just has one, then you won't hear anything. It'll just be silent. That's because already digitally it's added those two sound files together and it's produced nothing. But if you're listening to this video on headphones, then you will be able to hear something and the left and right hand headphones on your ears will be playing the normal and inverted sound. So first I'll just play the video and audio clip and you can hear what it sounds like depending on what device you have. But afterwards, I'll show you the different experiments you can do with that portion of the clip. Okay, so the first experiment to do is to get a pair of headphones and listen to that portion of the video that I just showed you. And what you have to do 
is what's happening now is the left and right hand speakers are playing inverted sounds. And so the audio waves, the sound waves coming off of these speakers will actually cancel each other out when they hit, hit each other. So whenever there's a high pressure wave, there'll be a low pressure wave and they hit each other and they cancel each other out to no pressure wave. And so your ears can't hear it. But the only way it would truly cancel out all the sound is if they're completely right on top of each other, overlaying each other straight onto each other. That way you wouldn't hear all the sound. But you can't really do that in this experiment. So what the next best thing is you can just kind of aim it towards your ear. And if you aim it towards your ear, some of the sound will be canceled out, but not all of it. So it'll sound different and it'll be kind of muffled. So what you do is get both of them close to your ear and put it next to your ear and notice as you move one of the earphones further away and closer to your ear, you should notice a change in volume. Now if it were normal sound, if they're both by your ear and then you move one further away, the sound should get quieter because you're moving one of them further from your ear, so obviously the sound gets quieter. But with this one, what happens is as you move one of them further from your ear, the sound actually gets louder because there's less noise cancellation going on. So when they're far apart from each other, not aiming in the same direction, then you should just hear regular sound and hear it very clear. So you can kind of play with this and you can notice the best area with your headphones where you can get the most noise cancellation. You can even try it putting them right next to each other and see how much noise cancellation you can get. It's also really cool to, to get a regular stereo speaker like this and play that clip and then kind of move your head and as you've, if you move it in different directions you can notice it, get, it getting louder and softer depending on where your ear is. It's really cool. Right in the middle it's kind of the softest but as you move one way to the left or one way to the right then you hear it normally. As I mentioned, some people watching this might already have just mono audio and so on that clip they didn't hear anything anyways. But if your phone's stereo, like most iPhones today are stereo, I'll show you how to change it to mono and during that portion of the clip you won't hear any sound. So what you do is you go into settings, go under accessibility, and then go to audio visual and change mono audio, turn it to on, and then go back and watch that portion of the clip and you'll notice that there's no sound. So what's really cool about that is I could actually make a video where people that have phones that only have mono audio, they wouldn't be able to hear anything and only the people with stereo could be able to hear the video. <laughs> so thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you can be notified when my latest video comes out. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.